Hey guys, what's going on? Today, we are back with another video. You guys might be able to tell I am pretty tired today. I went hunting all day long. Uh, we went rabbit hunting again. We walked very far. But I got... My dad missed one. He got two. I got one. And I didn't miss any. But, guys, I am going to do a video tonight on my tackle box and what is inside so let's grab a hold of it and lift it up guys so we're gonna do i said i think i said um, like two videos ago i said that i was gonna do a video on what's inside my tackle box so yeah guys this is what's inside i'm gonna set it right here so, this is a new tackle box, guys, I got for Christmas, actually. But, I have my boxes, rubber worms. It says rubber worms on there, guys. And the rubber worms box has really nothing in there because, uh, I don't really have any rubber worms yet. Because, usually what I do, well, actually, this year was the first set I'm doing the mystery tackle box because I got that for Christmas, too. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna take all of my mystery tackle box stuff and put it in my tackle box but I'm gonna do like a little challenge for the mystery tackle box I'm gonna see if I can catch fish on every bait so like I just showed you guys that's my rubber worm box there's really nothing there I only have like I got two I have two lizards in there I have two like red worms in there I have three like long twisters. You can see very good, but right there. And that's what I have for the top box, guys. There's four boxes here, and they are pretty big. Here's the second one my lures. I have this big lure. It was, I just got it because it was really big and it's a little neat. Have a frog. Have some other. Top water, jitterbug, another top water, another top water, another top water, a little cricket, and that's all I have in there. My third box down is um, my jig heads, bobbers, hooks, sinkers, and swivels. I have a bunch of bobbers up top here. You can just look in there without dumping it. All kinds of jig heads and all kinds of stuff, guys. Yep, that's what I got in that box. Tons of stuff. Um, so let's move on down to my last box I have in here, guys. This is one of my favorite boxes. This is my bass, mainly like bass and panfish because this top section from here over and this top are all like really little grubs and stuff work great for bluegill and these bottom ones are bigger and stuff like these my favorite setup is a little mr twister with Mr. Twister on a white jig head. Just like this. I'll show you guys exactly how to rig it up. Take your weighted hook, your jig head, take your grub, just slide it down on guys, slide the hook through there. Just like that. Just like that, guys. So that looks really good at twisted water. The bass love that, guys. It's this is actually kind of like using a Sanko. Actually, in my perspective, guys, it is better than a Sanko. And if you cannot catch a bass on a Sanko, there's probably something wrong. Because a Sanko rubber worm, it just it well it depends on color. Watermelon. 
uh, I think it's watermelon red or watermelon. Yeah, I think it's watermelon red. Uh, that's a really good color. That's a really good Sanko color. But yeah, guys, that is basically I think all of my tackle. But well, in my tackle box, I'll show you guys right here. Part two. I actually have some ice fishing stuff up top here. A little moon jig. This little moon jig and a this thing I think. You you put at the tip of your uh, rod. I'll demonstrate here. You put this guys, uh, we'll demonstrate on this rod. I think it should work. What you do guys is you take your top eye now this is for a jigging rod guys you take your top eye it's like this you take the foam piece and you just put it down in it and you kind of just like turn it so it slides in there just like so guys just so it sticks out of the end and let's see you see that? Now it's hollow. It has a little hole through the foam. The spring right here runs through the foam. And you just run your line through there. And then if you, as you guys can see, it's painted at the tip, orange. So if you get a fish, what it'll do is just like bend down. So, yeah, that's what that does, guys. But it's for jigging, basically. I mean, actually, you probably could use it for fishing in the summer, um, but it's mainly for jigging, I think. That's just because I was working on my jigging rod. I was putting a jig on there, and I just tossed that stuff. Like that moon jig, that's for jigging, too, guys. Um, there's just a couple more baits that I have right here. Uh, that Some of my favorite baits, guys, that I already have rigged up on my rods. Spinner, one of my favorite baits to throw. This one's a green and yellow. It's one of my favorite ones. And let's see what else we have rigged up on these rods, guys. We have, like I said, one of my favorites, guys, a Mr. Twister, but, and with a jig head. But this one actually has two twisters at the end, which doesn't, it, I don't really, I can't really tell a difference. The only difference I can really tell is some of the smaller fish won't go for it because it's a little bit bigger. Uh, but they kind of got to be pretty small. They got to be pretty small. I mean, 12 inch bass, they'll have, I mean, they go right for it. Much smaller and they don't know. Here's a top water lure. I don't, I, get, I don't really use this. I don't even know if I've ever had, I just tied it on. I actually, I don't think I've ever used this, guys. I just tied it on. And the reason why I tied it on is because I want to use it sometime since I've never used it. Let me see if I can show you guys. It stops spinning. Anyway, yeah, it has two big treble hooks. Actually, guys, they're really big treble hooks. I mean, they're like... Yeah, they're really big travel hooks. I don't know if you guys can tell. But they're huge. So that's what I have on these rods. Uh, I'm not sure if I have anything else down here. Let's look. I know in my last video I showed, like did a fishing pole review. So you guys probably seen if you if you watched the last video, you guys would have seen what is on the rods. What I have on the rods, but you guys did not see what are what's in my tackle box. Um here guys, this right here is another one of my favorites. Not the color of the worm. I actually this worm's okay, but it's not my favorite. Texas rig. Take I'm gonna show you guys how to do that I guess too. So you just take your worm slide down here. Take the worm What I'm actually going to do, this is an old beat up one really bad. Uh, so if you guys can see, it's all split at the tip. 
but I don't know if you guys see that or not. But so since it's bad, I'm gonna start fresh with a fresh spot to show you guys. So I'm just gonna do a little rip right there. Throw it in a trash can. I'm gonna take my hook, guys. Take the worm, and I'm gonna thread it down about um, maybe a centimeter, and then pop it out. Just like that, guys. Just thread it in a centimeter, pop it out, just like that. And then we're gonna slide it. We're gonna slide it, guys, right up to the tippy top, just up over the eye. Just keep sliding that. And actually, since there's line on here, um, I like just getting it over the eye, just a little bit over the eye, so it kind of hides your uh, knot in the line, so it looks even more real. So then you're going to want to take your worm. Now it should be dangling like this. The hook should be separated. And you're going to want to just give it a little bit of slack and hook it just like this. And guys, that's what your Texas rig should look like. And now you guys, you can run this right through the lily pads and weeds. Should not uh, snag or anything because the hook is actually buried in the center of the worm. So yeah, um, guys, I think I'm gonna end this video. So if you guys liked the video, be sure to like, comment, share this video, subscribe, you guys, do all that good stuff. And yeah, um, I'm thinking about doing like a video. I was actually thinking about like a video a day. I might do a video every other day, but I'm I'm gonna try to do a video every day. Um, I did a video not yesterday, the day before yesterday. I did one yesterday, or wait, was it yesterday? I did one. Um, no, I did one yesterday. I think. Yes, I think I did one yesterday. Today. And then I'll be doing. Of this video right now. I'm not sure if, that, if that's right or not. But I'm going to try to do like every day. And guys, I know this video is inside. I'm going to try to get outside. I was rabbit hunting today, but I, I, I can't really take the camera rabbit hunting. I need to get the GoPro because I need to strap to the gun or something. It's impossible to hunt, rabbit hunt um, with carrying camera around because you gotta turn it on and the rabbit's gone by then because we hunt with a dog. So it's pretty much impossible guys. But I'm gonna be doing like some bow shooting videos and all that good stuff. So yeah guys, like I said, like, comment, share, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys later.